I'm recording this uh, in late January of 2019, and I think this is a cautionary tale of being a little bit more careful of what you wish for, especially when it comes to technology and um, anything that's that's novel. Um, so, in recent years, um, I, 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 you, every football season, I love going to Sears to watch the uh, the game. And unfortunately this year Sears doesn't exist anymore and I'm trying to think about where to go. And um, I was discussing this with a friend of mine. He said, why don't you just go to a bar? And here's the thing, I don't like the atmosphere of drinking. I don't drink myself, but I also don't like the environment of drinking. Which gets a little bit awkward sometimes because, for example, when I was working on my PhD... Um, I would often, instead of interacting with the other PhD candidates, I would often interact with the undergraduate students, and this drove people crazy. People thought I was some sort of a child molester, or uh, just some kind of a crazy person. They, they thought I had bad intentions, and to, to make a long story short, it didn't always go very well. And um, I didn't have any bad intentions. I didn't even necessarily hate PhD candidates. I didn't necessarily hate people my age. I hated the alcohol. And I, to be honest, I didn't hate drinkers. I hated being around drinking. And um, it, it drove a lot of people crazy because they, they thought I hated alcohol. They thought I wanted prohibition back again. I never did. I don't want prohibition to come back. Not even today. Um, and um, uh, I just wish that it was more acceptable to be in an environment where um, drinking wasn't around. So so my ideal uh, party atmosphere would be I would go with other people who are also highly intelligent and um, we would kind of collaborate. You know, I love to write computer games, but I also love other scientific topics. Just the other day, I had a good discussion with another person about how um, we might uh, create chemical element number 119. Right now we're up to 118. And obviously, I, more recently, I've, I've loved to, to study about um, space travel and um, what other scientific topics do I like. Uh, uh, I want to invent a high-capacity battery because the computer I'm using uh, use, uses battery like crazy, and I want to be able to go places and not have to worry about keeping my computer charged. I love road trips. You know, I talked about in a previous video why I don't like flying. I don't necessarily fear it anymore. It's just that, again, I have to be around people who might be drinking and, um, you know, other people on the plane might be anxious about flying and being around that atmosphere just drives me nuts it drives me nuts i want to be in a collaborative atmosphere you know my, my dream party is to go to like a like a science conference of some sort that's why i love to go to the international computer gaming association um sometimes i go to a backgammon tournament because there's a little bit especially when you play backgammon at a high level there's a lot of math involved oh uh, sometimes i go to a chess tournament and unfortunately, sometimes drinking does get tied into those things. Not so much with ICGA, but with the chess and the backgammon tournaments. So sometimes drinking does get involved there. I wish, I wish, um, maybe I should start one of these myself. I wish we could have events or parties and there would be a poster on it. And it will say, this event is alcohol free and emphasize it. You know, right now... You know, I kind of use the under-21 events as kind of a proxy for alcohol-free events, which drives people nuts because then they think I'm a child molester. I wish we could have over-21 events that were emphasized as alcohol-free. And But uh, it just reminds me that I go to Sears for a lot more than shopping for a TV or shopping for a computer or, or um, you know, in the past looking for a job. I go to Sears for a lot more than all those things, right? I go to Sears for these everyday events and these uh, little moments in life. You know, when I'm 80 years old, I'll probably still remember the time when I was 25 and watched the Super Bowl at Sears. I think those are very valuable, too. And to, to worry about a few bucks, you know, and, just, and, and give up on these big things, I think it's a big mistake. And I, I hope I can get a, a million likes on this video so that we can do something about it. Thanks for watching.